Hi, this is Krubhakar and Rajendran. Welcome to Trading with Grow channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the complete tutorial about how to use TradingView efficiently. TradingView is one of the most widely used you know, app where more than 30 million active users are using on a monthly basis. And earlier, when you have to use any kind of such platforms, you have to have multiple things like, you know, you need to have data vendor, you need to buy a licensing for the charting software, and then only you will be able to analyze the markets and take any trading decisions. But with TradingView, everything comes in one single platform. And since it is a web-based platform, you don't need to in install any softwares or application. So first, all you have to do is let's go to tradingview.com. And then you know, you will, first, let's create a, you know, a basic account. Where you know, I'll be just you know, trying to log in using your in, you know, any kind of uh, Gmail account or Yahoo account or any kind of email account, where you can first access the basic features. See, it has premium as well as it has free. Where with respect to premium, you have multiple options like you can add multiple indicators, you can have access to multiple price alerts, you can have access to multiple charts. But with basic option, you don't have all these features. So there are certain restricted features with basic option. But to get started, I think basic is much more you know, enough than you know, going and spending time for it. So first, let's see what are the things that are available with basic feature and how you can use all these features and make better trading decisions. So first, let's create an account, click on sign up and you will have access where you can using your Google account, you can create an account or using your Facebook, you can sign up or using your Twitter, any of these social media accounts if you have, you can easily sign up using these existing accounts. So I'm just trying to sign up you know, using my you know, a Gmail account where I've just given my you know, username and you just select all these things and click on next. That's all. So you know, it would take you to this place where you, know, you can either take any you no know, 30 days of free trial using any of these plans or you can just opt for a basic plan that you no know, doesn't charge you anything so now it's done so you can go ahead and explore what are the features that are available with trading view you open the chart like you no know, like for an example you can click here at this scan option and select any kind of symbol that you want or any kind of stocks you want okay, suppose i wanted to look into you no know, reliance and just click on reliance and you know it will show you what are the list of stocks in the name of reliance so you can select reliance industries that is going to display the price chart of it so here you can change the time frame from daily to any kind of time frames that you wish. Say suppose you click on this option here, it would allow you to check no change it from one minute, three minutes, or five minutes, whatever you wish. In case whatever the minutes that you see is not available here, say suppose no, we wanted to change it to five minutes. You are clicking on it, and it is going to change to five minutes. Suppose you wanted to change it to four minutes chart. So there is no option called four minutes chart, right? So in this case what you can do is you can scroll down and type 4 and click on add that's all so it would automatically add the 4 minutes chart but for these kind of custom intervals you need to go for a paid subscription so you know if you do not want all those options then you can stick to whatever the options that is available for free so let's see what are the different you know charts or you no know, different type of candlesticks charts you know there are area charts there are line charts so multiple charts windows are there so you can change it as per your wish so these ads that you should you know that you are seeing right now is nothing but since you are using a basic option sometimes these ads pop up you can just click on close so click this candle here where it would allow you to change the type of charts so you can change from candle to bar charts or you can change it to you know line charts or you can change it with area so whatever the type of charts that you wish even it has this you no know, ekinashi charts it has this you know uh, Ekinashi, Renko, Kagi, point and figure. So any kind of charts that you wish, you can see it. So only the charts that are frequently used, like you know, a line chart or these bar charts or these Renko charts are free. But no, any kind of charts like these point and figure, again, it would ask you for a paid subscription. So it's better whatever things that are you no know, essentially free, we can stick to that. So for now we can stick to you know candle chart that is the one which is being widely used by most of the traders so we'll start looking after all these drawing tools that are available so using these candlestick charts we'll see what are the you know, drawing tools that you can use how this could really help you to take the right trading decision so even though we have multiple things 
we look after one you know some few things which most of the traders specifically use now let's see what are the settings that you can change with respect to this chart uh, you know layout what you can do is either you can right click and then click on settings or there is this option gear option here where if you click on this start settings will go up so here you know you can change the color of the body the color of the candles even you know these things like logo title open high low close values the volumes the scales you know, all these settings whichever that you wanted to change you can change it so there are some people you know, who want to use a different background color say suppose if this white is you know, too bright for them they can change this as well where you can click on settings and click on canvas here and select the background here and click here and change whatever the colors that you wish if you want a dark thing you can just click on black and click on ok so that was going to apply a black color in the background so probably that could be much more you know soothing for your eyes or if you can change it to any some other colors that you wish a blue color which would be not too bright so basically whatever things that you wanted to change with respect to your background you can totally apply that that is going to be you know replicated in the background you can instantly change all the settings so now let's look into some of the important you know, drawing tools that you can use it See, most of the people know some you know, basic things like trend lines where you can select that and select two different points and it is automatically going to plot all your you know, the required trend lines either on the upside or on the downside so these trend line things and all those things are you no know, a basic criteria that most people would have already used like you no know, plotting in horizontal lines selecting whichever wherever place that you wanted to show it it would show but you no know, there are certain things which you would find it really useful with respect to trading view let me show you that if in case if after drawing certain things if you wanted to remove it you can click on this you no know, delete window and click on whatever the drawings that you wanted to remove you can click on it so one thing that i would regularly use is the uh, this price range measurer where you, know, you go and click this specific tool and select this price range so how i mainly use that is say you know the reliance has gone up till this level around 2628 and then gone down till here now i wanted to measure uh, what is the total you no know, price value from this peak to this bottom so what i would do is i would select this price range measurer and click on at the top and click on at this bottom level so now it has shown that this reliance has, reliance has gone down minus 6.72 percent which is almost 177 points so instead of you no know, you trying to calculate manually this price range tells you what is the total percentage that it has fallen or total percentage it has moved like for an example if i wanted to find out from this level how much you no know, this level it has moved so it is 11.57 percent or 236 rupees so this way you can easily identify how much a particular stock has fallen from the peak to bottom based on this price levels chart window so this greatly helps you to identify how much a particular a stock has gone down or gone up and the next one is like price range there is one thing available called date range so i once i click on this date range i suppose you no know, i wanted to select how many number of days this specific stock has been in uptrend i would select here and then click on till this level so this is going to tell me how much particular number of days which is almost 111 days the stock was in uptrend so similarly if i wanted to find out how many number of days this specific stock has been in downtrend reliance i'll select the same tool here instead of price range i'll select date range and then from this i'll select till here so it shows around 98 days reliance has been in downtrend so this way you can easily identify using these tools to know how many number of days a specific stock has been in uptrend downtrend or in sideways See, there are multiple times where you no know, you wanted to draw a specific support or resistance line say suppose you no know, i wanted to draw a specific support or resistance line so i go and click on this horizontal line now you are, now i want to find out okay you know, i'll zoom in here and see there is this candle here right so this peak is what i wanted to make that as a resistance so you now i'll try hard to identify like you no know, closely focusing on that candle and trying to place that specific uh, you no know, horizontal line so sometimes you place it over that bar sometimes you place it above that bar you can't you know exactly find out what is that bar i and you are not able to place it correctly so in that case what you can do is you can create you no know, select this magnet icon 
where click on this strong magnet it would automatically pull you to that specific price point say so now i want to plot the same horizontal line on this candle high bar so now if i click on it it is exactly at that specific high of that candle it plotted because this strong magnet automatically pulls you and plots that specific levels easily so next time when you wanted to plot any kind of support or resistance line using this horizontal line click on this magnet and click select strong magnet it would automatically pull you to that specific price point and plot you the chart easily okay, and the next big you know, thing with respect to trading is most of the people are working professionals where they don't have time to monitor certain price levels say suppose reliance is trading around this zone say currently you not know, today as of now reliance is trading in a narrow range of 2367 i wanted to buy this specific stock or i wanted to get a notification when reliance starts going down or starts going up so what i can do is i can click on this alert and create a price alert where let's say suppose if reliance you know is greater than instead of 2367 say suppose if it is greater than 2377 price move up alert so you can create this and then you no know, it you can select the notification where you can you know install your trading app in your mobile it would send a notification in an app or you can send an email so you can mention any of this and click on create so when the given condition is satisfied it is automatically going to send you a notification so this is good if you wanted to track price even if you wanted to track specific indicators say suppose i'm going to select a super trend indicator here okay now the as per the super trend indicator it is in buy now when it changes to sell i want to initiate a trade so instead of me observing the chart i can click on this alert and create a specific values or alert values when super trend changes so you can select the indicator from the drop down where i have selected super trend and select trend change either you can change from downtrend to uptrend or uptrend to downtrend i just want whenever there is a change in trend from you know either from uptrend to downtrend or downtrend to uptrend i select trend change and then i mention super trend alert and in the notification i select all and then click create so now what would happen is whenever this trend changes for this reliance industries i would automatically get a notification using which i can easily trade so this is a very good you no know, pre option available for you no know, all trading view users you can you don't need to even make any payment here so this is something which you no know, is widely used by most of the traders who are using trading view the one more thing is people who wanted to practice say suppose i wanted to you know do the practice of buying and selling based on the chart movements what you can do is you can click on trading panel here and click on paper trading so this where it, without even putting your own money you can easily paper trade and try to you know test your trading strategies or try to test how your you no know, overall accuracy is going to be with respect to trading so now i have connected to paper trading so what i can do is now instead of me tracking or not trying to note down in a small piece of paper i can easily track my overall trading performance by buying or selling directly from the chart itself say currently reliance is trading around no 2367 right you can click this blue icon and it would buy the specific reliance industries or you could sell no click on sell and it would automatically you know, short the market so what i you can do is you can click on this and this would open up you no know, stating what is the total number of you no know, shares that you want to buy i'll mention i'll wanted to buy 100 units so now click on buy what happens is it would automatically the order is executed you get an alert and then you would be able to see it in the below window which it shows that the order has been executed at 2366.95 and you know if the market keeps moving up you are going to make profit out of it in case if you wanted to sell it you can again click on sell whether whatever the number of units say suppose instead of 100 i just wanted to sell 10 then click on sell that's all so out of 100 10 has been sold so you still have 90 quantity left so this is much much easier to test your trading skills before deploying your real money into the markets so even you can click on this account history that is going to tell you how you have performed you know historically say suppose you have been doing this every single day it is going to update your account history here so using which you can you no know, test your trading skills without putting your own money of course you want to track what is happening in the markets then you can click on this where it would automatically show you what are the list of 
volume gainers or no in case if there are any stocks that has gapped up gap down those things you can check it See, once you've selected sometimes by default it might show you no know, us exchange or uk exchange you can click on that and scroll down and select india and change whatever that you wish here if you select india it would show you volume gainers percentage change gainers gap gainers anything say suppose i wanted to look into you no know, list of stocks which has gapped up and you no know, gain most you can click on it it will show you what are the list of stocks that has you no know, gapped up and started moving up so this is some micro cap stocks called ptc industries where it has gapped up and started moving up so those things also you can easily track it and take your trading decisions so this greatly helps you, you know to see what is currently happening in the markets without going to different sites and checking from the you no know, trading view portal itself you would be able to track this and easily make your trading decisions and there is one more thing called event calendar where if you select this calendar option it is going to tell you what are the most important events that is going to happen for an example you no know, at november 30 around 5 30 gdp growth would be shown so it shows that there is there is this forecast what is the expected thing that is going to be published so if there are any rba events or any budgets any kind of economic you know, events that is going to be published it will be displayed here so when you are trading and that day seems to be an rba day you if you see that then you might take you might think that okay probably i should take the trading decisions after the rba event is over so this greatly helps you to keep track of whatever the even, events that are happening in the markets and also you know you will be able to see the earnings calendar like if there are any specific companies that are announcing you know any companies quarterly results that also you would be able to see sometimes if you are not able to see the indian markets here you can click on this and you would be able to select markets here you can type india's usually you know you can select the us markets or you can select the australian markets you can select uk markets anything so whatever the countries that you wish you would be able to select it and you would be able to see that and once you click on apply it would show those economic calendars as well so i guess i have covered most of the important information related to trading view i hope you found this video really helpful in case if you guys have any questions related to the information which i have shared Please post it in the comment section. I'll definitely address it. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Please read the risk disclosure documents carefully before investing in equity shares, derivatives, mutual fund, and all other instruments traded on the stock exchanges.